In the 5-4 decision with Justice Kennedy writing in the majority, the court said the decision was effective right away, meaning they didn't send the case back to the lower courts to decide the issue, they made the decision, saying that the ban on gay marriage violated the 14th Amendment or the Equal Protection Clause, and that marriages in one state must be recognized by other states. By taking gay marriage off the table, the Supreme Court gave conservatives and the GOP a push in the libertarian direction. Republicans, and especially presidential candidates, may use the court's rulings to drum up cash for their campaigns from their most socially conservative constituents, but it's not going to last. The more libertarian parts of the GOP will eventually take over, leaving guys like these in the dust. The decision didn't answer what will happen in the future for those that care about religious freedom. You know, those Christian wedding cake bakers who aren't keen on making anything for a gay wedding. In their dissent, Roberts and Alito said that religious people need to worry about this decision, and that these cases are bound to come up in the future. It's rare that all of the dissenters write their own dissent at the Supreme Court. They usually join the majority's dissenting opinion on the case. But it's clear that the four justices wanted to make their mark on the case and have their say in history. Click here for more coverage of the gay marriage decision before the Supreme Court.